you know the only thing worse than a Monday is a Monday after a long weekend because then you feel like you really didn't want to come back, right? But today is a Monday after a long weekend. You had three days off, and we start with just one question this morning with a very poorly drawn rectangle with a side length of 2x, and it asks for the perimeter. And all it gives you for information is what the area is. So way back when we studied polynomials, we did say that if you had a simpler one, and this was 2, and the area was 10, you would know that if the area was 10, then it's 2 times 5 is 10, where the area divided by the side I know equals the side I don't. So the same thing will happen when we use polynomials. 2x squared plus 5x, all divided by the side we know, which is 2x. Once we have it written that way, we remember because we're very smart people. That when you have a trinomial and you're using division, you need to use distributive property for both division and multiplication. So each of those terms will be divided by 2x. And if we have all three terms divided by 2x and we divide the coefficients to get negative 2, x cubed divided by x, x squared. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 or just negative. x squared divided by x is just x or negative 1x. And 5 divided by 2 is 2 and a half, or a positive 2.5. And x divided by x cancel each other out. So therefore, what we've solved here, I don't know what I did wrong there. I have multiple x's here. 2xx. X. Oh, is that supposed to be a negative? Is that a negative? Yeah, negative 2x squared. <clears throat> so once we have that, we can write that as our side length. And now that we have it, we can solve the perimeter. Perimeter of a rectangle is made up of two lengths, or in this case, two, two x's, and two of these, or two, negative two x squared minus x plus two point five. That would be four x plus negative four x squared minus two x plus five. Am I done? Can I leave it like that and be happy? No, I have to gather like terms. And since we have four terms, the one we're supposed to start with is the highest degree term, which is our x squared. I should have had that in brackets. Negative 4x squared. Those will make a plus 2x. And plus 5 is remaining. And therefore, ergo, if I didn't make any mistakes, which I probably did, but I probably didn't, your perimeter of this particular rectangle is negative 4x squared plus 2x plus 5. 